the way software development is done has changed. It, uh, it's a much more distributed activity. People are usually not in the same place. Uh, they're usually developing asynchronously and they make extremely heavy use of tools to do development that are like networking tools almost, things like GitHub and Jira and so forth. Um, Jira, uh, for those of you who may not be um, familiar with it, is kind of a like a trouble ticketing system where you can open issues and then you can assign the issue to somebody and it routes that issue over to someone to answer. So that's a structured way of dealing with problems or just issues that come up in software development. And this, as opposed to say, just emailing each other with questions about it, which would be an unstructured way to do it. The objective here is not to create work for people. The objective here is to conduct compliance in the way that's most efficient. And usually it's the engineering resources that are the most precious. Like we lawyers who have worked in Silicon Valley are accustomed to that. It's, it's really about saving time for the engineers. And so the, the tools have to use the interaction methods that the engineers are accustomed to. You don't want the engineers to have to learn an entirely new system in order to do compliance, because if you require them to do that, they probably will not comply. Right. So you want to make it as easy as possible uh, for them. Um, also, you know, you need tools that will um, work for the environment you're working in. And as I mentioned, there are different kinds of programming environments ranging all the way from kind of the low level programming all the way up to the highest level web programming. And um, so you want to make sure that it's going to cover all of the development environments that you're you're talking about. Um, and um, it, I can't emphasize too much that the more you work within the existing engineering workflows, the more compliance you're going to get from engineers. The, the worst thing that happens is you set up a compliance program which nobody uses. That's probably worse than having none at all. <laughs>